Hi guys, welcome to Kuda Tison Lab. This is fourth video of Clinic Management System in Django, PostgreSQL and Bootstrap 5. In this video, we will perform the functionality for a quick add patient, right? And uh, from uh, in this video, we will also cover that how we can create the dashboard for the doctor, right? So let's start to do this. Okay, so let's create the model first. So let's go to the project main in patient and models, right? And here we have a patient, uh, we have created this. Let's check that, that we have created this uh, model, migrated to this or not. We can also check in the migrations. Let's check this initial. Yes, we have created this. Uh, migration let's check in the pg admin also that uh, we migrated this table or not okay so i already uh, told in the second video that how we can set up all these things right so let's log in in this let's go to server let's log in with the user database postgres uh, sorry clinic management system and schema and then we have a tables we have patient right here we are okay so currently we have a name only so let's create so let's create name age correct so we'll say we'll copy this we'll copy this we'll say age model start integer field right and then we have to define okay do we have any data no no we don't have any data okay so name age and then what we have in a quick patient that is required name age gender gender so it's a care field and it's a choices equal to Choices equal to gender choices, and uh, here we will create the gender choices equal to we have male. This will be the name male female right and then we also have other right so let's create other okay so gender choices and then we have a what we have else okay let's go to name a gender mobile so mobile is also integer field right so mobile and then we have a uh, address so address is a text field right so address text field no need for maximum length okay and then okay so what we have now address detail so what okay so this is detail this also be a text field so medicine medicine is also medicine detail is also a text field so medicine detail and then note if any kind of note right and then amount that how much amount doctor charge right so it should be a float field so float field correct not float field actually this should be that de decimal field so max digits equal to two right all right so let's see okay nothing and then what we have else next visit so next visit should be we will say date uh, sorry date not date days 
that next visit after how many days so integer field correct uh, decimal places it should be decimal places so decimal places equal to right all right so max digit attributes also required Decim max digit is 10 decimal places is 2 all right okay so now let's run the command py manage dot py migrate so what is this change that not referred to the migration is okay sorry make migration before migrate so provide on off detail to patient without this is because the database populate existing row what we have in the existing row do we have anything no okay so let's say null equal to true okay so okay and uh, default age no need no need to add default age let's see age we need to define the default age so default we will say zero okay and uh, we will do this for also next visit zero okay so now let's see that how it is working make migration amounts where is amount okay so let's say default equal to zero how about this now oh my god okay so gender so default equal to gender default equal to mm, let's say main all right <coughs> now make migrations now we will say by manage.py migrate okay so migration has been run now let's see in the database okay so all fields are um, so now let's uh, create the form and uh, sorry now let's create the form and see that how we can uh, integrate the model fields into the form and all the things right let's run the server manage.py run server all right now we will show the uh, home page and then we will show the login and all the stuff and we will integrate that right okay so now let's create doctor panel where he can add the patient and we will utilize the model right so what we will do let's open the views here and uh, after this we will say doctor add patient let's say quick add quick add <coughs> okay so <coughs> now let's create the function uh, add no quick add quick add patient right and then after this we will render a render a form uh, not form yes form correct so quick add patient so we will say quick add patient form dot htm okay now let's create the form here in the templates we'll say quick add patient form dot html right and uh, let's open the home page and uh, we will little bit uh, after doctor login it will redirect to doctor dashboard right so let's create one more page and we'll say doctor 
डैशबोर्ड डॉट एच टी एम ओके सो दिस इज अवर होम पेज लेट्स कॉपी दिस वन एंड पेस्ट हेयर एंड इफ लॉग इन इट विल शो द लॉग आउट रिसेट पासवर्ड एंड इट विल ऑल्सो शो द डैशबोर्ड राइट सो डैशबोर्ड सो विल से डॉक्टर डैशबोर्ड right and uh, we don't have anything on this url actually we didn't created this U url too so dr dashboard and we have this so let's open the url so we have this one let's paste here and we'll say uh dashboard and this will be dr dashboard dr dashboard let's create the let's create home let's create dr dashboard first we'll say dr dashboard and this will be dr dashboard.htm okay so when we go to home and when we click on this uh, logout reset password actually this should not be reset password it it should go in the home if logged in and when it comes to the dashboard then we will show add patient uh, we'll say quick add patient okay so here all right so now let's go to home page nothing is here let's go login doctor and we will log in so log out reset password dashboard right let's change the color here uh, not really looking good change so dashboard and uh, it's showing logout and quick add patients so when we click on the quick add patient it is going to uh, when we go to quick add patient actually this is reset huh? reset it should go to so we will create the new url uh, we'll say doctor quick add patient right and from the view we have quick add patient url this one this one and let's add this url here okay so quick add patient nothing is showing because we didn't uh, we didn't add it anything here so let's copy this one now let's start to lay out of this okay so let's go to bootstrap okay bootstrap we are using five right okay so here we are and then we will go to nav bar so we will start from nav bar actually not from nav bar mm, let's uh, trying to create the custom layout right let's try to create the custom layout okay so for creating the custom layout what i will do i will use the list group list group here and uh, let's uh, copy this one right so let's go to this page we have a layout uh, we cat patient right so this is a layout uh, 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 uh. let's create a div class row and then column 3 paste here this one and then div class column 9 this one and let's go here and see this thing okay 
so let's define margin top to actually let's define three let's add a nav bar also so nav bar nav bar this is our nav bar don't need this kind of thing uh, 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 mm -hmm. let's add Hmm. Let's add uh, nav bar with the text. Let's add this nav bar. Okay. So in the layout, we have this one. We also need to create a different layout for. Uh, we need to create a different layout for dashboard uh, doctor dashboard this layout uh, actually re this layout will represent the uh, front page of the website but we also need to create a dashboard layout so i think we should start to creating let's create them so patient so this is patient templates right so <clears throat> Let's focus on the functionality we will create the layout later right let's focus on the functionality first so let's uh, do one thing mm, yeah okay so let's remove this let's remove the disable one also right and then uh, quick add patient and here we will say dashboard uh, quick add patient right and here we have manage patients right so when we click on this quick add it should go to the let's copy this one for the dashboard and uh, when we go to the dashboard it should copy this one here right quick add patient manage patients we don't have anything and uh, let's add this one here if authenticated then we will show this we will show everything okay and we also need to show the logout so let's show the logout here we will uh, organize this later right so here we have so manage patient not manage patient actually it should be logout okay let's define the different color for this text danger right so dashboard okay uh, dashboard so we'll copy this one paste here so dashboard quick add patient see so this all things right okay so now we have a layout let's copy this one and paste here and we will say dashboard dot html right and in the dashboard we have this block uh, container right and uh, let's define this let's define this let's define this one in the dashboard block content start here right and uh, in the block content we will define this thing so block content will go in the this row okay 
here. All right. So here we are. Great. So now we need to in the quick add patient, we will just call the extend layout dashboard and in the dashboard we will also say dashboard uh, no need to do this thing we just need the block content so in the dashboard we have to get patient if we go to log out then we will log out right okay so now i think we are uh, done with the layout also so we just need to uh, add the improvements and uh, first of all let's complete the quick add patient functionality and one more thing in the dashboard if let's say uh, here we will say if quick add patient will say doctor uh, will say this one if quick add patient in the request path in request dot pass then what we will do we will add an active class right so end it okay here you can see right and same we will do for the dashboard okay so let's copy this one and paste here and we will say dashboard Okay, so when you click on the dashboard, it will go to dashboard, quick add patient, quick add patient, right? So now let's work on the quick add patient. So let's say uh, this is the space for quick add patient. Great. So now let's uh, work on the form uh, with the working on the layout and then we will see that uh, how we can save the data right all right so let's create a card card and then class card header actually we should create this in a h4 card will look like this let me show you here so these are the card styles right so I'm going to use this kind of thing, right? So this is header, body. It also have a footer, this kind of thing, right? So let's say header, and then we have a div class card body, right? Uh, we, we need only two things. So we'll say add, add patient, and let's see here. So this is add patient and let's create the form okay so now here is a trick so how we can show the form and uh, how it will work in Django right so we have a model and uh, we have a fields but now we need to show the form and save the data correct so let's try to do that okay so let's uh, create the form so first of all we'll create forms.py right and uh, from django from django dot forms import forms from django dot country by three dot country import from django import forms let's verify that forms okay we have here okay so from django dot forms import model form right so now let's create a 
class will say patient form right uh -oh. quick patient form and it will inherit the model form and here we will say what we will say here we will define the class meta and here we will define the model and model will come from the from dot models import import patient right and then we have to define the fields see so we'll copy this and define the fields so we have a lot of fields so we'll say name age name age gender mobile right and then we have view address we have detail medicine detail medicine spelling is wrong we need to migrate this again right so let's first migrate this then we will come back uh, detail is also wrong it should be small d it's not wrong actually just not a standard proper so we'll go here mine py manage dot py make migrations yes yes uh, py manage dot py migrate all right so run server okay so now so form what we have in a name age gender detail medicine detail where is that name age gender detail detail medicine detail what else in this amount next digit amount next visit all right so this is quick add patient form and in the view we will fetch from dot forms <coughs> sorry <coughs> from dot why this <coughs> not fetching <coughs> from <clears throat> dot forms import quick <clears throat> from import let me check one more time from dot forms import why this is not showing the hint for this form not to resolve maybe not sure what is the issue so quick add patient form and we'll go to here and we'll say form equal to this one and let's pass this form here great and now this form will be uh, here form let's see so this kind of form and we will see here <coughs> Mm, 
we will say we will create a table class table table bordered table as table form as the form dot as table right and then we have one last row which will be class two input type summit right and uh, not class it will be called span two right and then we will define button button sm button success button success this one and we will define the value save okay uh, what else we need to do so this is a form and a table and uh, if we click here it will do nothing because it is not in the form tag right so form tag we need to bind this in form tag and then we have action equal to same root so we'll make it empty and method equal to post one more thing that is very important if you are working with the django you have to define the csrf token right and when we click on this save it is saying this is required field right so and when we save it when we hit when it it will hit the data then if request dot method equal equal to post then what will happen this is the form right so here request dot post if form dot is valid right then we will say form dot save okay else we will return redirect to doctor not doctor quick add patient and we will also add the message something went wrong and we will say warning and here we will say something went wrong right we will discuss about the validation later but let's uh, save this data and uh, we'll see that how it will work correct so something went wrong and it should show in the quick add patient let's go to we have we are showing the information here what is this uh, unable for you no maximize group why this is okay so uh, let's open the login page and then here we have a messages let's copy these messages and quick add patient and card body here we are Great. okay so now let's add the patient let's patient add abc age or 20 male some detail detail here amount let's say 100 next bit is after 10 days save nothing happened let's see method equal equal to post if this one is form dot valid mm, 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 mm. Uh, return render if else let's see here here we have this 
this one send okay nothing with oh this should oh sorry this should redirect the success patient add successful patient added successful right patient added successfully now if i go to here refresh and here you can see okay so this is a, uh, because of this quick cat so we didn't added the address or anything okay so we have added here the all things right but uh, we also need to show the asterisk sign and this form should be in bootstrap format okay so what we need to do so i will render this uh, all field manually and then uh, we will apply the bootstrap classes right okay so let's convert this uh, patient form in a bootstrap format and we will also show the static sign if field is required right so i think all fields are required because uh, we didn't define the blank equal to true right so all fields are required fields so let's see that how we can define so first of all uh, we will run here the we will see here the initiate function so this provides a lot of things but we don't need all these we just need right this thing so we'll say for field in self dot fields right and uh, then we will say field fields field dot widget dot attributes class equal to form control no attributes fields oh sorry self dot fields okay this this will be after this after running the initiate function here right so here you can see class is applied on all the fields correct now we need to define the static sign for that what we need to do let's go to template here and we will little bit change this actually not not let's change this but let's define the tr and in this tr the first one is heading th right and in the second one we will define the field so we will define for field in form dot fields correct and then here end for here refresh and here you can see now field dot dot label tag what is this labels tag or label tag label tag field dot label not label tag okay let me check in my one of the project so if i go to templates if i go to add patient django bootstrap let's go to template let's go to form field field dot label tag so this is fine i think it should show what we are saying field dot label tag yes yes we are saying correct it should show okay let's go here and let's go to add patient 
field in form error oh no sorry okay field in form okay so this one all right so this is kind of this thing okay so and here in this uh, th we will define here if field dot field required then we will show the asterisk sign we will say class text danger asterisk let's see here end for hmm. and if okay so all fields are required and then finally we will show here the field correct so i took little bit of help from my other project okay so what is the flow uh, first of all you create a form according to your model you define the fields and on the in, after the in, initialization you mod you are modifying the fields and adding the class here, right and uh, here we are manually fetching the fields from the form and i have also shown you that how you can fetch all the fields as a form set in a table or in a paragraph correct so now we have this thing and uh, male female other whatever you select it will show now let's add a now let's empty this uh, data uh, truncate restarted entity great right so let's say abc age uh, this is patient detail this is medicine detail amount i charge 2010 so save two were given <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay so i have little bit changed here i am passing the arguments and keyword arguments in the initialization right because it was showing the error so now it is uh, added the patient successfully in the form right so here you can see okay so with this we have completed this uh, feature what is that quick add patient form right now next we will work on the properly add patient and uh, add update form for the patient mainly we will work on the manage patients right so we will also include the other fields like address and note right so mm, one more thing i think i should apply this should be table sn right so it is little bit condensed okay so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, if you need the source code of this project then you can just go to github.com slash code artisan lab and here you can get the source code right and if you are facing any kind of issue to downloading the project from project plaza then please email me i will provide you the project right so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please share subscribe like this channel like this video and stay tuned with the code artisan lab and hopefully i will soon upload the next feature which is uh, manage patient and then we will work on the notification right so thank you thank you so much